Do no harm, but do whatever the hell you want. Bitch, look at all the piercings your dumb cartoon character has. Trigger warning, body dysmorphia, gore, mutilation, self-portrait with a knife, or am I doing feminism right? Do no harm, but feel free to cut off your own tits. No is a complete sentence. Many women feel the need to explain or justify themselves when they decline unwanted advances or invitations. Mostly because men often do not respect the boundaries a woman creates when she says no, but no is a complete sentence. You don't owe anyone, especially men, an explanation. Knit this hat and keep it in your bag so the next time they try to give you hell, you can put it on, flip them the bird, and keep on walking. To the unfuckable land whales who buy this thing, I say no to you being a fat, stupid cunt whose fast food habit is enabled entirely by your taxpayer-funded government job. But here we are. Here's a tip. Say no to Big Macs, lardass. No wonder why you're afraid of rape. It's the only way you could possibly get laid. My body is is not public property. Public property? That's government-owned land. Governments usually own land that's barren and worthless. In other words, land that resembles your uterus. Women supporting women, hug your lady friends. More like ugly, unpleasant women supporting other ugly, unpleasant women. Notice how the bitches with the worst attitudes are the only ones who drone on about the sisterhood. No one else can stand to spend more than a few minutes around them. The double standard, when a boy attracts girls, he's popular but when a girl attracts the opposite sex, she's a flirt. When a boy takes charge, he has leadership ability. When a girl takes charge, she's bossy. Given the track record here, it's because she's a retard who wants to chop off her own tits when she's not fantasizing about rape. Feminist motherhood is a surprisingly unexplored subject. In fact, feminism and motherhood have often been thought of as incompatible. Feminist motherhood means causing never-ending humiliation for your offspring. I almost want to say that there's no way that this ham beast would have done this if her child was a daughter, but she would want her daughter to be as dysfunctional as herself. This image makes a lot more sense if you imagine that her nipple is covered in some sort of poison. Home sweet home, we drink man tears. Subversive cross stitch number one, based on an inside joke between me and my roommates. Cornering the senile old lady with 30 cats market. Very subversive and foreshadowing. Shout out to Planned Parenthood for the happy music they played in the waiting room, the really great sex positive posters everywhere, their stellar gender spectrum inclusive forms, and most of all to their friendly and wonderful staff, who made going to the doctor something that is really hard for me to do manageable and much less anxiety producing than I thought it would be. Thanks guys. Nothing says happy like underdeveloped babies being ripped limb from limb while still in their mother's womb. Women can speak up, trust each other, travel alone, have the answers, succeed in business, run companies, and love themselves. Let's recap. These women put knives to their tits, say no by wearing knit hats, pose nude with their infant children, complain about being called bossy, and compliment Planned Parenthood for playing happy music. If they can't handle the simple task of keeping their sanity intact, they're not capable of doing any of this.